and welcome to this prenatal and postnatal class. So this can be postnatal too if you want to bring your baby in here. Um, Flint is currently four months old. So if you just stick him in a chair, maybe bounce him and put a binky and you just need some time for yourself if you can't find the time while your baby's napping. And you can include your baby in this class if you would like to. Um, what I've been trying to do with Flint is... Um, I think he heard my voice a lot. Well, he heard my voice a lot when I was teaching while I was pregnant. So he thinks this time, I think, is a relaxing time. So if you can get your children in there, in here to watch you or find that time, that's great. Um, I highly recommend it. If not, this is your special time. So it's always good to um, do your yoga when you, you are, when your child is napping. So we're going to do a 20, 25 minute restore class. So if you want to grab any pillows or bolsters, um, blankets, straps, whatever you feel like you need, um, we're going to go ahead and grab that. Um, and we're going to start in a seat. So if you want to sit on your pillow, you can cross-legged or hero's pose, whatever is comfortable for you. And before we start, um, it's always good to really deepen our breath. So since we're here, um, recently we've been focusing here on the third trimester. So today we're going to be doing some postures that'll help. If you think your baby's breech, which, um, is good to kind of get yourself, get the baby to turn around, especially if you're in that third, third trimester. So see if you can close your eyes, see wherever you want to place your hands, either on your knees, on your ba baby, or maybe one on your baby and one on your heart. And before we hear this scripture today to just be here with the Lord, I want you to take four big expansive breaths in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. See with each breath, if you can make it longer and more full in through the nose, maybe even holding at the top for just a, just a moment and then exhaling through the mouth. Just exhaling that stale air, air out just a little bit more. Breathing in, sucking up as much air as you can. And then sigh it out. And just find one more of these on your own. Taking this pause. Isaiah 9, verse 6. I'm going to read it three times, just briefly, um, from the ESV and from the past, or from the, um, the message. For us, this is from the ESV. For us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Noticing what word might strike you a little bit more than the others. Knowing that God is this Prince of Peace. This wonderful counselor. Just choosing to lay any worries, fears, concerns you have at his feet. Whether you're pregnant here in this space right now in this current time or whether you have your baby here with you, just choosing to surrender over your child, surrender over your life, your marriage, whatever it may be. Hearing these words once more from the message, it says, for a child has been born for us, the gift of a son for us. He'll take over the running of the world. His name will be amazing counselor, strong God, eternal father, prince of wholeness. Taking that big nourishing breath in and a big gentle sigh out. <sighs> Hearing these words one last time as we sit in the stillness with God. Just enveloping in his love, enveloping in the Holy Spirit, just being here in his presence. 
For to us a child is born, a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Lord, we thank you for giving us your son. We thank you for giving us our children. Help us to surrender our children over to you, knowing that they're not actually ours, they're yours. Help us to be with us as we labor and give birth to our babies. Help us to be with us as we learn to be a mom for the first time, the second time, the fifth time, whatever it may be. Just be with us in our everyday daily doings of motherhood. And above all, help our children to grow closer to you, to know you. And help us to know you even more deeper each and every day. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Gently flutter your eyes open when you're ready. Remember that you can always stay in your seat or laying down. If you just want to take this time to just um, breathe and meditate, you always have that option. If not, go ahead and move your pillow or your block if you have one underneath you and just reach your palms up towards the sky, opening up, big breath in, spread your fingers, and then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. So remember, we're carrying that deep breath with us in every single shape today. Inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. So the key here, especially if we're in our third trimester, one more here, is we're really working on the breathing. So it's not about doing all the yoga poses or doing tons of movement. It's really getting into that breathing. So let's find one more of those because this feels so good. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Beautiful. Gently make your way into your child's pose. Maybe you want to bring a pillow underneath you if you'd like to. Maybe you need to take your knees out a little bit wider, spreading your fingers, and just see if you can relax here. Maybe bringing your head on the pillow, banding your chest and upper back, and then exhale, sighing it out. Maybe walking your palms a little bit closer towards the top of your mat, spread your fingers, and then just see if you can rest here. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. You can choose to stay here if you'd like to, or if you feel like your baby might be breaching, you want some extra um, shapes to kind of help turn your baby around. We're going to move into puppy pose. So go ahead and come onto your knees. Walk your palms all the way up towards the top of your mat. Take your knees out a little bit wider to make room for your baby. And then you can either bring your forehead onto a block or a pillow or hover your head, whatever feels comfortable for you. Really getting into your shoulders. So you can choose to stay in your puppy pose or child's pose, whatever is most comfortable. And we're just going to carry a hold this breath for about, hold this pose for about four breaths or so. So taking those big breaths that we found in the beginning and carrying it into the shape. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Breathing into your shoulders. And we're just going to focus on one more shape to help our breech baby if we feel like that might be where he or she is. So if you want to stay in your puppy pose, you can go ahead and stay there. Spreading your fingers out wide, kind of sticking your bum in the air, but making sure your hips are over your knees. So staying right here, maybe staying in your child's pose or press into your palms, feel your toes under, and we're going to hold our breath, but not hold our breath. Keep saying hold our breath. I don't know why. 
We're going to take four breaths as we hold this pose in our down dog. So remember, we're taking our feet out wider. If we're having our baby, we have our baby in our belly. <laughs> You bring your gaze in between your ankles, inhale, exhale, lightly bend your knees, spread your fingers, taking those four big inhales and exhales. You want to add a little bit more, maybe then come up onto your tippy toes to get in your calves, and then just come back down, covering your heels off the mat, inhale. Exhale, one more big breath in, and then gently exhale, coming into your tabletop. So remember, you can stay in your child's pose, in your table, in your um, down dog, in your uh, puppy pose, or you can move into your hip circles. So I probably say this every class, but I did tons of hip circles when I was pregnant. It just felt so good to get into the hips. You can find those baby circles or big circles. Finding that big in and exhale, and then go ahead and make your circles the opposite way. And choose to stay with your hip circles or find one more puppy pose if you feel like you'd like to go there. Taking those four breaths in and out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then gently come into your child's pose once more, maybe finding that restful one with your pillow. And see if you can just find rest here, just kind of absorbing the shapes that we've already done so far. Hearing these words once more. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Breathing in, breathing out. Choose to stay in your child's pose. We're just going to do a little bit more before we find our final resting pose. Coming onto your seat, sending your legs out long. If you want to find that wall behind you, it's always good to have some extra support with the wall. And um, take your legs out about as wide as feels comfortable. So if you need to take them closer together, that's fine. Or you can take them out wide. And then see if you can bring your hands um, your hand to your shin, or if you want to grab a block, you have that option. And windmill that left arm up and over. Just breathing into your left side body. See if you can point your toes towards the sky. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. And then just gently make your way over to the other side. So lovely. Back to center and just coming into a half, uh, a double pigeon. Um, so stacking your right leg on top of your left. So remember, it's always good to have a block if you have one. Maybe bring that block right underneath that right hip. So you can either stack your legs together or you can find um, cow face. So whatever feels good. So either this shape where your knees on uh, crossed over each other 
or you can come into double pigeons, whatever feels good. If this is too much, then you can just keep your legs extended out wide or extend it in front of you and come into either a forward fold or a wide-legged forward fold. But see if we can just get into the, um, the hips area. So this is really good um, while we're pregnant and in postpartum because we're, we use our hips so much when we're pregnant. There's so much tension we carry there just as women in general. So just making sure we're breathing through the tension, roll the shoulders down your back with a flat back. If you want to hinge over your hips, you can. And take about four, those four big expansive breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Maybe hinging over just a little bit more. Big breath in. And then exhale, slowly rise. Maybe taking your legs out wide or windshield wiper your feet back and forth. Whatever you feel like you need. If you want to take a pause and find your wide-legged forward fold, you can go ahead and find that. Just making sure your feet are flexed. Just breathing into the legs, breathing into the tension. So remember, we're really focusing on the breathing. Breathing really helps us stay in the present moment. Really connecting with the Holy Spirit, Prince of Peace, wonderful counselor, mighty God. Finding that shape on the other side, so your double pigeon or your um, cow face. If you can either find your cow face, I always struggle with this one. Cross your legs over each other if this feels good, or coming into your double pigeon. Maybe grab that block underneath your left side now. Perhaps hinging over your hips, flexing your feet. Maybe you want to tend your fingertips or just hinge over your hips and go ahead and take those big four expansive breaths here. Breathing in, sighing out. One more breath in. Actually, three more. Take your last breath, your biggest breath yet. Inhale. Exhale. So beautiful. Slowly rise. Bring the palms of your feet together. Take your knees out wide. Maybe grab those blocks underneath your knees and just hinge over your hips. Getting ready for our final resting pose. Before we find our final resting pose, on our left side, especially if you're in your third trimester, if you're in postpartum, you can go ahead and um, find your regular Shavasana on your back, or if you want to find a waterfall or whatever you would like to do, you have that option. Um, but before we do, come back into your seat, and then let's, let's find that flow, just four of those flows, just like we did when we started. Reaching your palms up high, inhale, Exhale, hands, heart center. So see if you can make that breath even fuller and bigger. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. I know I said four. Let's do one more. I'm obviously off my counting today. <laughs> one more. Reaching your palms up high. Spread your fingers and bring your hands to prayer center. Go ahead and make your way to your final resting pose, however that may look. So it's always good to come onto your left side, head on a pillow, block in between your legs. We're going to be here for about seven to 10 big breaths in and out if you want to count, or you can just simply relax. Coming into our final resting pose and hearing these words one last time.
For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Mighty Counselor, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Taking one big filling breath in and open the mouth and side out. Lord, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for allowing us to be mamas. Help us to grow closer to you in each and every day. Help us to just take big breaths, to slow down. And remember that you are the reason for it all. Help us to not lose sight of that. And help us to teach it to our children daily as we move into our days. Thank you for loving us and guiding us. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. And if you ever have any questions about yoga or prenatal yoga or postnatal yoga, I would love to hear from you. Um, and I wish you a very wonderful day.